today what I'm going to teach may not seem very applicable to those of us who live at home, but for all of our Bullock Bayans, for all of our members who live in Australia, Norway, England, London, Canada, America, South America, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, for all of our members, this one's going to hit you a little strong. You see, no matter how much ability God gives you, there are going to be people who are local, who will always look for a way to put you down because of their prejudice. And it's, it's even more than prejudice. It's, it's, a, it's a horrible combination of envy and prejudice. It, it manifests through prejudice, but basically what it is is they're envious of the position you have. Now in Daniel chapter 3, beginning with verse 12, we find the story after Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had been promoted. There were people who didn't like this promotion. And so they wanted to bring these men down. In chapter 3, verse 12, it says, but there are some Jews. Now notice, those Jews, they're, they're foreigners, there's aliens. And you know what? Daniel faced that prejudice all of his life. And God kept promoting him. But there are some Jews, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, whom you have put in charge of the province of Babylon. He said, you put these foreigners in charge of us. They pay no attention to you, your majesty. They refuse to serve your gods and do not worship the gold statue that you've set up. Now, these three men were not defiant, and they were not arrogant, and they were not rebellious, but they just have a God to worship, and they're not going to bow down to something that is not God. So when they're challenged, in verse 16, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied, O Nebuchadnezzar, we need not defend ourselves before you. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God whom we serve is able to save us. He will rescue us from your power, O Majesty. But even if he doesn't, we want to make this clear to you, your majesty, that we will never serve your God to worship the gold statue that you have set up. Now, they weren't belligerent or angry. They just said, we serve God. We serve God alone. Now, you know the story. They got thrown into the fiery furnace, and all of a sudden Nebuchadnezzar sees four men walking there, and one is like the Son of God. When they come back out of that in verses 28 to 30, not only are these men promoted, verse 30 says the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to even higher positions in the province of Babylon. Don't you know it made those prejudiced, envious guys really upset? They got even more promotion. But I want you to notice something there in verses 28 and 29. Their refusal to compromise did not just bring them promotion. It brought God glory and honor in the entire empire of Babylon. Now, all of a sudden, the king stands up and says, their God is the one true God. Beloved, we have to learn to stand our ground for what's right and refuse to compromise. In doing so, not only will promotion come to our life, but maybe even more importantly, well, not just maybe, definitely more importantly, our God will get honor in the world around us.